Hi, uh, I just wanted to report that uh, I'm doing well, and um, from the time I started doing Deliverance, I was so, like, I felt so um, basically insecure to even, like, leave my house. I felt insecure to get groceries, do anything like that, and I always thought, like, I just didn't belong in public anywhere in the world except like after removing all these demons I now have you know comfort to just exist you know which is the correct way of being um You know, um, it's actually kind of strange that, like, society exists without, um, the government basically telling all of the people that God exists and this is what's going to happen after you die based off of like there being uh, recordable miracles, whereas like like people have miracles and these people are not faking or lying or messing around, so they're credible people. Like I have my own miracles that have happened to me with my ankle getting fixed and the voice saying jump three times, which was God. Um, and then I have a bunch of demonic stuff happening to me. Or, like, doors slamming, stuff falling off counters and stuff. Um, and, like, there being, like, a demon in my room. And, like, also a spiritual spouse, like, rubbing my back, rubbing my leg. So, you know, all this stuff is not through the New Age. Like, anybody who ends up passing away in New Age, it's like, I don't understand. It's like you there there's all there's almost a cutoff of intelligence it seems and not in the testable kind but like i don't know just an intelligence to make sure you don't accidentally go to hell basically and some people well being functioning they seem to not have it and they just live in a kind of a made up uh reality at their own making for like that suits their experience in life except and it's just like I don't know what's going to happen after I die and if they're if they're saying I don't know what's going to happen after I die and they think that's a suitable answer since they came into the world thinking oh I'm just here so that means I don't need to know how to die because I just showed up one time or you grew up and then you became conscious that you're here, you know? So people think they don't need to prepare to die because they didn't prepare to live. They just started. Uh, but, like, it's, it's not good that there are people who don't believe in God. That's not okay. It's not, like, a matter of like, being politically correct and saying, well, they have their beliefs. It's like they're literally stepping off a cliff for eternity and they're not even trying because they don't know because they are somehow in, like, a false delusion, you know? Um... Basically, um, my, uh, if you've ever heard of, uh, trichotillomania, 
basically it's um i believe there's two kinds one is where you pull your hair out the other is where you pick at your skin and basically i had the picking at the skin part of that disorder and i basically went around my whole life uh hiding my hands from anyone seeing because they're like raw basically um and basically that's a demon causing that causing the person's like uncontrollable um like physical action of them doing that to themselves and like i understand that it might seem really far out there and strange for somebody to like self-harm themselves in a way that's not cutting but it's like peeling off your skin i understand like it might not be relatable if you have not suffered from the condition except for me it started when i was like eight years old and went on till i've been working now with the deliverance minister because the reality is is there's there are websites where people are trying to get help for the disorder, except I don't see them having a lot of luck. Like, I've seen stories of they're like, oh, it's getting better. And then they're like, oh, I relapsed. And it's like, yeah, it can't, I don't even know if they can get better because I've been trying to stop and thinking to myself, okay, well, just stop today and just don't do it further. And that's happened for 21 years now well, from eight on. And I've never been able to stop every single day. So, like, that's a demon causing that, you know. And uh, the deliverance minister I'm working with informed me that I'm a deep case. So that percentage-wise, I'm more possessed than most people. Um, but not, not in the singular percent. I'm not, like, the most possessed out there. Because there are people who are so possessed that like there's still a person living in society and you've seen these people before okay and i'm not attacking people okay except like i thought i was quite possessed except there are people who are more possessed who have it worse whose like inability to do things or like oh i don't feel like i belong and it's a real feeling and i have this problem and that problem and stuff and I have all this like mental torment in my mind like that's bad yes except there are people who have it so much worse on like a demonization torment amount that you think like you think oh I wonder why this person lives such a rough life like maybe someone who's jobless and struggling and is probably addicted to some sort of a drug like it's t people like that like that's not because they're a bad person it's because they were born into de a lot of demonization and then that's how their life unfolded because like in my opinion the person almost has very little defense against what the demons are going to do to them in their life because everyone literally is going around thinking demons aren't real meanwhile demons are causing what's going wrong in their life basically and it's like that's why they're losing and things bad are happening is because they don't know demons are real but uh like it's not good But, uh, it's a good thing, though, that I, like, I'm working on the skin pick thing, trying to stop it. Get rid of the demons. And I'm not just saying it's a demon, but it's me. It's literally not me. It's a... I almost zone out. Like, 
if I'm literally not using my hands, I will literally uncontrollably zone out and then start picking at my skin, you know? So, like, anyone who's suffering from, like, trichotillomania, uh, basically, it is a demon. It is not a disease that needs, I don't even know what, they, I don't see what answer they have for it, really. They just, I, I don't even know if they do the counseling route for it. They don't do pills, they just... It's just people who suffer from it, like, I don't know. They just continue to suffer from it their whole life, and they basically hide away and live a very um, secluded life because of something that's basically keeping them grounded from living, you know? And, uh, you know, it's like, to date, um, doing deliverance and exorcism with an exorcist or a deliverance minister, like, same thing, is to date the best thing I've ever done for myself. It's not, oh, maybe I should do therapy. Uh, doing, getting the demons out is therapy because usually if you need therapy, you just have demons, probably. Although once you get the demons out, it is wise to do therapy, potentially, because the life of uh, problems will still basically kind of leave scars um, just in just in trauma, basically, of how your life's gone. So then if you talk through it, then you could basically get that all kind of mentally behind you and figure it out. But, uh, you know, like, I can figure that stuff out. I can put stuff behind me. And move on, basically. So, yeah. It's a rare thing, but not so much. Because the deliverance minister I'm working with, when she was, like, in her 20s, working in the retail um, sector. Basically, she worked with somebody who always had boots on, and I guess people wore flip-flops in um, this, like, warm area of the States. So he always wore boots, and then basically, I guess, ended up saying that I, I'm wearing boots, I'm not taking them off because my feet are nasty because I peel the skin off, you know? And a lot of people would hear that and they'd say, what? You peel skin off your feet? And then you won't show them to us? Like, you know, wear flip-flops, I guess. And people have no empathy for that because they don't understand it. And even myself, even though I have the problem not on my feet, but on like the palms of my hands. Even when I hear someone else suffering from the same thing, they, he literally had demons. Maybe worse than mine, okay? But maybe not. But, uh, you know, I also think, oh, that's weird. That's gross. Because it's like, I don't know. It, even though you may suffer from the same condition of demons, you still are like, oh, that's weird. Just because it is weird, but you think for yourself, well, it's just me. Like, you have, like, you treat yourself nicely about it, except if you see someone else with the same problem, then you're like, uh I'm critical of that. That's weird. You know, but you get the demons out and you won't have that problem anymore. You know, that's what I'm doing. And, uh, yeah, that's another personal thing. But, uh, no sense in not sharing it. You know, it's what demons do to somebody. It's almost, you know, a lot of people were... I mean, I'm not going to show you my hands, but uh, I'll say about it. Anyway, that's all I had to say about that next time.